Very good advice. Thank you so much, Chip. Police say a driver appeared to be drunk when he drove his pickup through a home. Saul is live in Carrollton with a look. Yeah, some scary moments for the family. And a neighbor tells me that the girl uh, who sleeps in the bedroom where this truck ended up happened to be in the living room watching a movie at the time, so she is very lucky. Take a look at the damage that was left behind, the way the truck just ended up wedged in the house. It was around 12.30 this morning. Uh, police say the driver was speeding in the 2200 block of Peters Colony Drive when he lost control. He struck a parked car, and that impact so strong that the vehicle ended up on the front yard. The driver kept going, hit another parked vehicle, continued on to the yard, and then slammed into the house. All of a sudden, I heard this screeching of tires and a crash, and I knew something happened big time. So I came running out, grabbed my phone, came out here, and I saw a pickup truck parked inside that house. The family was shaken up, but otherwise okay. The driver arrested for DWI. Roger says that he overheard him saying, I'm sorry, over and over and again as he was being taken into custody. Now, police say this is the second time in a week that an out-of-control speeding car struck a house on this street alone. Uh, the speed lim limit is uh, 30 miles an hour. This is a pretty wide street here, residential street, and Roger says that uh, drivers always tend to go a lot faster than that. And he says that the city needs to do something about it before uh, people get seriously uh, injured. And he says he plans to go before the city council to talk to them about doing something out here. Reporting live in Carrollton, Saul Garza for Good Day.